Blue Jays hosting the Yankees. The Yankees are plus 152 on the money line. The Blue Jays are minus 180 over under eight and a half runs. The Yankees getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 142, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Blue Jays laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 118, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by a minimum of two. Thank you for everyone who keeps joining the Discord. I really do appreciate you guys. If you've not done so yet, go to my website, rawsportstalk.com. Click on the membership tab. It is a paid membership, but you will see my best bets, win, lose, or draw, mine, and everyone else who's in the channel. Most, mostly everyone participates. Head-to-head, -head, the Yankees are on a three-game winning streak against the Blue Jays. The Yankees are 6-4 and four against them in their last 10. And the favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line. And the favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs is also 5-5. Five and five. There haven't been any one-run games in their last 10 meetings, so whether it's the favorite or the underdog, generally they win by at least two. The under is hitting their last two games. The under is 5-4-1, and one, and the under 8.5 runs is 8-2. and two. Weaver didn't pitch against the Blue Jays either last year or this year. The Yankees are 2-0 and oh in his starts. He's averaging four innings and five strikeouts per game in those games, and in his last five starts overall, he's got an ERA of 2.2, and his last five starts were victories. Not all for the Yankees, but this, they were wins. For the Blue Jays, they are 4-1 and one in Bassett's last five starts. He's got an ERA of 2, averaging 7 innings pitched and 5 and 2 thirds and 5.2 uh, strikeouts per game in those games. He did pitch once against the Yankees this year. Seven shutout innings. They won that game 3-0 in 10, and he struck out 7. His last two outings against the Yankees, once was this year, once was in 2021. So this is the law of averages. Six and a third, four and a half hits, one earned run, seven strikeouts, one and a half walks, a half a home run, and 93 and a half pitches. The Yankees started winning a little bit too, too little too late. They are three and one in their last four, five and one in their last six, and for the Blue Jays, they're six and four in their last ten, one and three in their last four, and they picked an awful time to start losing. I'm going to take a shot here with the Yankees as a home underdog, especially being that Weaver has been pitching so well in his last five. I'll take the Yankees with the money line. I'm going to take the Yankees getting the runs, and I'll go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.